Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at, a little later than usual, uh, the Wave 3, Wave 4 uh, Titan Master figures from Titan's Return. First we're looking at is uh, Shuffler. Shuffler is an update and an homage to some Japanese exclusive Headmaster figures. Basically, these were figures that did not have a full body, they just gave them, uh, they were just heads and packaged individually and go for a big amount of money. So we're starting off with uh, Shuffler in its um, armored uh, uh, elephant mode, and it's really cool. You got some missile batteries up front, nice lavender color, some uh, ha haunch mounted lasers, um, and then you got a nice little tail here and some really uh, interesting details. Now we're going to go into the weapon mode, and weapon mode is very easy. Just go ahead and bring what was the front face up, rotate it around, um, bring down these rear legs, f roll, flip them forward, they are on the same hinge so they'll just, you just move one and the other one will go, and then go ahead and uh, the um, tail snaps into place at an angle so you just want to flip that forward and bring it up, and this is probably one of the best Titan Master weapons I've seen. Uh, you know, it has a nice little handguard there, and you've got a ton of missiles. So, um, to continue the transformation into uh, vehicle mode, uh, first we'll come around here, and you just want to bring the tail down so it's facing forward. Bring the front legs forward, um, and then bring the trunk down so it's down like that, and then come underneath and remove Shuffler from the underneath. And we'll take a look at Shuffler's head. Very nice. This is a nice, nice update as to the original Headmaster. Basically, what, it, what the Headmaster did is it was an elephant that turned into this. So that's really kind of cool. And then the robot is, of course, as usual, nothing special. But it does peg into the uh, back here. There are some pegs. We'll just, uh, usually what I find I do is I just bend the figure backwards and you, you can get the leverage you need and there you go, you want to raise the arms, you can raise the arms and this is actually one of the better uh, tight master vehicles I can remember seeing. So we'll pause and we're going to take a look at Repugnus. And here's Repugnus and Repugnus is actually a character that has a rather long history in uh, Transformers. Uh, basically, ever since its original G1 incarnation, whenever there's been like a bug or insectoid type of Transformer that needs to be an Autobot, they usually just throw the Repugnus name at it. Um, it's been used in Universe, Cybertron, all, all over. But it's nice to see an, uh, a little bit of an update to the original G1 design. So, we're going to go into uh, weapons mode and basically to start off, go ahead and we'll just bring this head up and you know you can see that that's where the Titan Master is stored bring the feet up bring those down ever so slightly um, flip down the backpack then we'll go ahead and bring the arms down all the way that'll sort they'll sort of sit on top of those uh, blades area and then what you want to do is come into this top section and you can actually sort of push it through uh, from the back there getting that handle out and uh... that wasn't as hard as before but and then uh, yeah it's a little tricky there we go so once you got that handle out just go ahead and bring this down That'll snap into place, and uh, yeah, just to make sure you have the uh, wings down all the way. Yep, there you go, and you have like this little bladed type of weapon here. Um, not really sure what to make of it, but going back into uh, the vehicle mode now, you want to flip that back section up. Uh, you know, leave the arms down at the side here. You can bring that head section back up, fold the handle in. We'll go ahead and remove the tight master. 
um, flip the feet up and you know that will close up like that you want the head oh I popped it off the ball joint there so that will lay back and we'll take a little quick look at Repugnus's head very nice update to the classic Generation 1 character and like all the other Titan Masters actually this is a little bit better because at least you have that small robot head painted and there are some pegs way down there that you can just slot this in and there you go and that's about it for Repugnus we'll pause and I'll give you my final thoughts Shuffle and Repugnus are fun additions to the uh, Titan Master subline of Titan's Return unfortunately they were packaged with a bunch of re uh, repackages from previous waves and they were also I believe short packed so they've been kinda hard to find and when you do find them people tend to overcharge to make up the difference seeing as how they're gonna get stuck with um, the older figures in the case and in a lot of cases from online retailers you can only find these as sold as part of a case with the other two Titan Master figures. I got this figure, uh, these figures off of Amazon. I got very lucky. There was a nice third-party seller. They were selling them both at a reasonable price. Um, so uh, I was able. That's how I was able to get them. And I actually got them like some months ago. But fortunately, I was just able to get around to review them now. They should be hitting retail. But like I said, they're mixed in in a case. They're kind of short packed. So you know, I hate you know if you really want them. You might have to just focus online. This is your old pal Chuck for Shuffler and Repugnus. We will see you next time.